show that f of x equals negative log x plus e of the x is convex. So the way we're going to approach it is by taking the second derivative and showing that it's positive. So that means taking the derivative of log x. So in calculus, we're usually taking the derivative of natural log x. But what about log base 10x? Well, for that, we're going to use a change of base formula. So the change of base formula, let's say, um, for log base a of b is equal to log of the new base of b over log the new base of a. Here, the base is 10. So a is equal to 10, b is equal to x. So we're going to write the new base as e. So this will be log base e of x over log base e of 10. Log base e of x is just a natural log of x, and log base e of 10 is the natural log of 10. So we're going to rewrite that. Now we can take the derivative. The derivative of natural log of x is 1 over x. So this will be negative 1 over x times ln of 10. The derivative e of the x is e of the x. Now we take another derivative. The derivative of negative 1 over x is 1 over x squared. And then we're going to multiply, multiply that by natural log 10 because that is the coefficient. And then the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. <clears throat> Note that e to the x is always positive. It looks like this. And then 1 over x squared times ln of 10, that's always going to be positive because anything you square is positive. And we should be careful here that uh, x cannot equal 0, but note x cannot equal 0 over here because you can't take uh, the log of 0. So there is no domain issues because the domain here is basically x being greater than 0. So all x such that x is greater than 0. So in for that domain, the second derivative is always going to be positive. So we say that f is convex.